Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Sharp right here and I'm Brady as another gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be talking about the 5.1 patch notes and everything that, you know, has changed since 5.0. So basically, there's a lot that went on in general. There's a lot of, you know, things that, there's a few things. I'm not going to go over everything in depth, um, I'm just going to do a quick overview of what is going on. Basically there's a birthday event going on right now where uh, you, there are slices of cakes around that give you 5 health, 5 shield. Definitely find those and uh, there's certain challenges, give you some cosmetic items and XP. The battle bus and supply drop have a new cosmetic decoration for the birthday event. The new limited time mode playground which is coming back has some changes I'm gonna do a quick overview. Golf carts spawn 100% of the time, team switching is now a thing, aim assist will work. Basically in a nutshell the rest of the things are there's gonna be more better loot. There's gonna be more of better loot and less of shittier loot. So now let's get into the things that have changed about the core gameplay other than, you know, the, the limited time mode and the birthday event and stuff like that. We have the compact SMG has been added to the game. I am making a gameplay commentary uh, with the combat SMG. Pretty good gameplay, not too high of kills, but every one of my kills were with the combat SMG since I got it right at the beginning of the game. So it's a great gameplay to see how it works in a bunch of different close range engagements, even up to like a medium range. It gives you a pretty good grasp of how good it is. Uh, essentially, 23 to 24 base damage for the epic and legendary va variants uses light ammo, 50 round capacity. It spawns basically every location loot chests, supply drops, vending machines. All around, probably one of the most overpowered guns in Fortnite for close range. If you if you use that with a heavy shotgun, just do a heavy shotgun shot to the head and then use that, or a heavy shotgun shot to the body and then use that. You don't even really need the shotgun, to be honest with you, with how powerful it is. But it, it's an extremely powerful gun, really good close range, definitely suggest using it. They updated sword pieces, which uh, has been rumored for a little while, I think Epic may have announced it. Basically it grants 1 health every half of a second, for up to a total of 75. Health is um, prioritized, so once the health is full then you get shield. So for instance, let's say you have uh, 75 health and no shield, after you take a slurp juice and it's fully completed its course, you're going to have 100 health and 50 shield. It's going to you know, do the 25 health and then it's going to do the 50 shield. Uh, supply drop rates have been adjusted. I've been, in my previous video, um, I talked about supply drops and they're adding gold guns to supply drops that should not be in supply drops so they've adjusted the weapons adjusted you know traps consumable consumables and materials i'm gonna go over that a little bit right now so assault rifles um have been raised to 25 percent from 14.2 percent explosives have been raised to 25 percent or have been lowered to 25 percent from 28.5%. Combat SMG has been added at 14.58%. Sniper rifles, 14.58 uh, from 28.5. Heavy shotgun to 10.42 from 7.1. Minigun to 10.42 from 14.2. And they remove hand cannons, dual pistols, and silence pistols. So they removed every handgun from the game uh, from being dropped in supply drops. They lowered miniguns, which really needed to happen. I hate getting minigun spam. They raised heavy shotguns, which you never find a heavy shotgun in a supply drop, which is really good. Sniper rifles have been lowered. Um, I don't really snipe that much, so I guess it's good for me. There's less people trying to dome me from a mile away. However, for people who enjoy sniper rifles, they might be disappointed. 
Uh, combat SMG is at the same thing as sniper rifles, so I guess combat SMG and sniper rifles are both power weapons according to Fortnite, but explosives and assault rifles are both at 25%. Lowering the explosives is good, um, and raising the assault rifles is really good because everyone wants to get a gold scar from their supply drop. No one wants to get, you know, just a, just a shitty, like, hand cannon or minigun. I mean, even the minigun is overpowered now due to the buff that it got, but I like where it's at right now. I think this is pretty balanced. Maybe could raise the heavy shotgun up to, you know, 14.58 like the sniper rifle and combat SMG, but I think this is a pretty balanced chart. I think they finally got the supply drop for the weapons balanced. And then we're gonna move on to the other thing. So the traps, uh, the trap slot. Launch pads have been up to 44.44% from 9.6. So that's a crazy buff for launch pads. If you open a supply drop, you almost have a 50% chance in getting a launch pad. That's pretty good, to be completely honest with you. Uh, cozy campfires have been buffed to 33% from 7.5 so that's one out of every three times you open up a supply drop you should get a cozy campfire and then a bounce pad has been raised to 22.22 percent from 15 so that's about one in every four times you open up a supply drop you'll get a bouncer so that's pretty good as well remove damage traps completely Damage traps are found enough on the ground from your dead opponents. They didn't need to be in a supply drop. A supply drop is supposed to be good stuff. So that's going to be good for the end game because I'm not going to be going into the end game with, you know, 14, you know, damage traps and have no cozies, no bouncers, no launch pads, and shitty weapons and a gray AR. Um, with the green pump, so that's that's good that they're they're raising the ability for what you can get from a supply drop. Consumables, shield potions upped by one percent to twenty from the original nineteen point one percent. Small shield potions to seventeen point five from a twelve point seven. Med kit to thirteen point seven five from 6.3 slurp juice up to 11.25 from 5.11 clingers up to 10% from 6.3 remote explosives to 10% from 6.3 Impulse grenades also up to 10% from the 4% they were at, and chug jugs are at 7.5 from 2.1. Removed boogie bombs, grenades, bandages, stink bombs, portaforts, and bushes. That was probably the worst thing you could get out of a, a supply drop get a bush, and bandages, and a damage trap, or one of those, or like a bush. Bomb and a damage trap, a bush, a port of port, a damage trap. Like, those were probably the worst things that you could get. Even like a silenced pistol, a damage trap, and bandages was pretty crappy. So, I'm glad that they added the, the heals and buffed those. However, the, the clingers, the remote explosives, and the impulse grenades, I think they probably didn't have to buff those in my opinion. I don't like them personally, especially C4. Impulse grenades are like whatever. Um, clingers are kind of like whatever as well. But all in all, I guess it's somewhat balanced for what you know Epic Games goals are for Fortnite. Materials are all at 33%, 33% chance that you can get it in a supply drop. So there's one out of three chance that you can get wood, stone, or metal. It's not a lower chance for metal or a higher chance for wood or a stone in between. It's going to be even for all of the material types. Gameplay, speaking of materials, they added uh, a lot of different changes to building materials. So wood starting health, 280 from 100, and then stone starting health, 280 from 90. So stone and wood, when you start building stone and wood they instantly both start with 80 so that makes stone and wood both equivalent when you're building you can do a build battle with wood or stone and uh, stone is just going to end up being stronger than wood is you know maybe maybe building you know going into build battles with stone instead of wood is better now that rather than um you know just using wood 
uh, and the max health for wood is now only 150 from the 200 so even when it's completely built it's also weaker so that, that's their nerfing to building is they're making the builds weaker you can still build it's just weaker they're not nerfing how many materials you get they're nerfing the strength of the materials i think this is a better um nerf and buff we'll get into the buff later uh in a second but this is a good well actually i'll just talk about the metal right now so the metal wall max health is 500 from 400 and the build time is 25 seconds so basically when you are building with metal you have less chance of getting like an explosive that can instantly destroy your wall wood if you built with wood or even metal metal would take two rpgs to destroy wood would take just one and it would destroy a lot so i think it's really good that they're buffing the metal to nerf kind of the explosives a little bit and they're nerfing wood so that people who are building have to build with stronger materials they already nerfed the materials so i don't think that they i think this is fair i think maybe after this they should buff materials again to where you can get more materials since you go through materials a lot faster now um however i don't know if they're gonna do that obviously epic has their own plan for balancing the game so that's just my recommendation if we can get the community to uh have a voice on this that's my opinion if you agree definitely uh, share this video so hopefully epic will have uh, a consensus of what players want uh the storm circle changes the safe zone to the second safe zone wait time so that's the time waiting from zone two to zone one or from zone two just the wait time for the zone two to shrink from two minutes to a minute 30 seconds so it says 120 120 from 150 oh so it's going to be just two minutes instead of the two minutes and 30 seconds uh, that's good zone four wait time or zone two shrink time is going to be from two minutes to a minute and a half uh, or actually it's going to be two two minutes from a minute and a half so they're making the shrink time longer um, but they're you know decreasing the wait time so it's ba essentially the same time it's just it's going to be shrinking for longer than you know waiting so it's going to be moving for more amounts of time so you're not waiting I don't know it's basically the same amount of time but just reversed the the safe zone 4 wait time is 290 from 120 so basically making it the wait time less by uh what is it like 30 seconds so it's going to be a minute and a half instead of two minutes zone six wait time is 60 from 90 so it's just going to be a minute and then zone seven is going to be 45 from 60 zone eight is 30 from 60 zone nine is 30 from 45 so they're making it not quite blitz blitz was a really hectic fast-paced game mode but they're making it faster they're not making it blitz but they're making it faster i've also wanted this to happen um, this is going to improve competitive play in my opinion and it's just going to improve overall gameplay because it's not going to be as slow paced of a game it's going to be a little bit faster push the people together a little bit quicker kind of like the hunger games you know you want the people to come closer to each other and you want it to be an interesting fight especially from you know epic's business standpoint they want it to be fun for the player and fun to watch as an esport so i think that's a really good thing that they're going to be doing they added a few gameplay features um the big one that i want to talk about is they increase the damage that the pickaxe does to um built structures from the 50 base damage that it did and the 100 critical damage that it did to 75 base damage and 150 critical damage so basically with the way that it's working right now it takes two hits from a pickaxe to b break a wood wall so that's pretty good to be completely honest with you because i hate when so when i'm trying to like break into someone's one by one and i have to hit their shit 500 times now i just have to hit it twice and then i can build my own wall uh no matter if it's a critical hit or not uh, but if it's another 
structure it's gonna be obviously a little different um, and they added a few other things uh, a lot of bug fixes I'm not gonna go through all of the bug fixes because not all of them apply to me and you might not be interested in all of them um, but two big bug fixes that I wanted to go over um, is all players will no longer fall through floors or push through walls when placing or editing structures so I think this is a bug fix for the exploit that Tfue um, made popular. He did not find it, he made it popular. So I think that's going to be beneficial for um, you know, bugs and stuff like that. There's another one that I didn't write down, so I have to kind of find it. Okay, so they improved the handling of collision when building pieces are placed right on top of a player. So you're much more likely to be moved outside of newly placed structures. So basically, let's say um, you place a floor on top of someone, they and it their head is inside of it, they're more likely to go on the outside. I am assuming it's probably going to be up, um, but it might be down. Maybe um, testing that would give a better insight. But instead of staying in the middle of it, you're going to be pushed to the outside. Um, I guess if 50% of your body is up and 50% is down, it's going to be a 50-50. And then 50% 40% of your body is up and 60% is down, you have a 60% chance that you're going to go down. Um, or you're you're most likely going to go down in that, in that instance. And then the other thing is fixed an issue preventing players to select nothing as an outfit and back bling. So that was the thing that kind of annoyed me. Um, you had to go like back and forth between random and uh, nothing and uh, you know kind of glitch it out but now they fixed that so that's basically everything that I noticed um, for the audio they've um, improved some audio things I don't really think that there's anything that crazy that I want to talk about with that. If you guys did enjoy the video, please do leave a like down below. If you guys want, um, you know, some of the topics that I spoke about in the game or in this commentary for Epic to take these into consideration, please share this with your friends to get the word out of this video. And then we, we as a community, can now work together to get Epic to make the game better for the community and not what they think is best for the community. All in all, I think this was a pretty good update. I think that they could add some things in the future to perfect this update, more specifically with the building. And I I do enjoy the, the gameplay and the weapons uh, updates are my two main things that I look at when I look at these patches. So I think that this patch all in all from the two things that I mostly look at are is improved. They fix a lot of bugs. There's one bug that I uh, encountered. They they I didn't see a fix for it, so it's with the rifts. Maybe it was just a networking issue and not uh, an actual gameplay issue. But I guess we'll see in the near future if they do it in the next one. But like I said, like, comment why you didn't like. Subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Share it if you want people to understand um, and support, you know, my viewpoints. And I hope you guys do enjoy the video. This is Sharp Eye. Peace.